Yeah, absolutely. So the circadian clock is, of course, the most important and concerns our daily rhythms. But in addition, we have also longer lasting clocks. So perhaps not in humans, but there are tidal clocks in organisms living in the tidal zones. So they have to adapt to the tides and their circa tidal cycles last about half a day. Then we have, of course, the longer clocks. Perhaps the best known is the annual or circ annual clock that times our organism for seasonal changes. And this is also a clock that has a long period of about one year. And then in between is the lunar clock that adapts us to the lunar cycles. But in humans, it's not well known. It's known mainly in animals. Can you give us some examples of lunar clocks in animals? What exactly are they in terms of their behavior, in terms of their hormone fluctuations, the maturation, you know, whatever it may be, what gets tied to the lunar cycle in other species? Yeah. So the most uh, prominent rhythms are reproduction rhythms. So meaning rhythms in mating and they occur in many marine species. 